of Alt Beer. So, Corey, here you go. Thanks, Gary. I hope anybody that wants to hear me will move up to the front. And the rest of the jackasses keep talking in the back. I noticed that from about 10 feet back, it's impossible to hear anything. So, uh, really, I just want to spend a couple of minutes talking about the story uh, behind uh, Alt Beer, our collaboration Alt Beer. And I'm going to pick up the story at the point where we had already decided to make an alt beer. There's kind of a story behind the decision making that goes on at Creedmoor about how to make a new beer and when to make a new beer and so on, but I won't bore you with that. I'm going to pick it up at the point where we had already decided that uh, we'd like to make this style. And we realized very quickly that um, we needed some help. Uh, it had been more than 20 years since, uh, since I had made uh, an ale style beer, which alt, alt beer is, uh, commercially. And, uh, uh, it, was, it was pretty clear that uh, we were going to need a little bit of help with this. And uh, so Karen came up with the idea that, you know, perhaps we should, we should really go to the source and, and get our help there in the form of, uh, of help from, from one of the classic Dusseldorf breweries. And, uh, and so she started doing some research, and through her research, a particular name kept cropping up, and that name was Horst Dernbusch, who actually is right in the front row here. Horst, get a little wave. Horst. Uh, <laughs> Karen found Horst, and Horst is a very interesting guy. If you ever get a chance to talk to him, you'll find out soon, soon enough why. But for a whole bunch of reasons, but two in particular made it very interesting to us. Uh, one was that he's actually the author of a book on alt beer, the only book written in English on alt beer. So we thought, well, he probably knows a little bit about it. And uh, the second thing was he happens to be an expat German who was born and raised in Dusseldorf, and uh, still has some contacts there. So, so we struck up a correspondence with Horst, and it was before long uh, we realized that, that he could probably really help us on this, uh, on this uh, project, and he was an enormous help. He was our facilitator, and our translator, and uh, guide, and, and a whole bunch of things. So thank you very much, Horst, for the, for the help you gave us on, on, uh, on the journey. And it wasn't long that, that uh, after Horst began to pitch the idea that the folks at Zoom Schlusel, uh, who are represented here by Dirk Ronhoff on my right. Uh, the brewmaster in Zunzuzel just arrived from, from uh, the airport about an hour ago. Um, uh, picked up on the idea uh, that, that was presented by Horst and in fact embraced the whole thing with a, a fair degree of enthusiasm. So uh, before too long, Brian Egan, my, uh, my partner in this, uh, in this endeavor from Creemore Springs and I, in the company of Horst, arrived on, on Dirk's doorstep one uh, chilly February morning, and he both literally and figuratively opened up the doors to the Zoom Schlüssel Brewery to us, uh, and he let us crawl all over the brewery. We took tons of pictures, took lots of notes, we, uh, we asked a thousand stupid, I'm sure what he thought were stupid questions, but, uh, but he was just a tremendous help throughout the, the whole thing. And in the end, uh, we also, uh, uh, aside from all the knowledge we got over the course of the couple of days that we spent there uh, and the experience we got of, of drinking lots of different alt beers as well as uh, a lot of uh, the Zulusel alt beer, um, we got to bring home their yeast, which is, which is really the, the, the heart and soul of, of any beer and, and was what we really realized, what we realized right at the beginning, we couldn't pull this off if we didn't have an authentic uh, alt beer yeast and so it was that, that we were able to bring Back here, propagated and, and built this beer that we have to, uh, to offer now. Uh, and I think I think that's really the story. The, the only thing I want to explain about the cask that uh, we're about to tap is that if you if you go to uh, Dusseldorf and try some all beer served in the traditional way, it'll be served out of a out of a cask very similar to that. They drop it by gravity, as we will do from that cask. Uh, the beer is. Is, is uh, not not necessarily icy cold. Uh, the beer is not necessarily really fizzy, but it's always exceptionally drinkable. Uh, it's a very traditional way to dispense beer. You can find it dispensed like that in two or three other places in Germany, but it's it's uh, you find it everywhere in, in both Dusseldorf and uh, and their neighbors to the south. Those who remain nameless for a moment, for now. Uh, uh, so. Let's, uh, let's do the ceremonial tapping.
Uh, Dirk and I, I think, are going to do that. Before, before, I, before I finish, I just want to, in front of everybody, thank Dirk uh, again for, for both his openness and his cooperation. Um, without this, we, we wouldn't have uh, collaboration all up here, obviously. So thank you very much, Dirk. Uh, really glad you could come and join us. Let's tap the cake. Are we okay here? We're just back here or what? Thank you.